The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, is seeking an increased budgetary allocation for Nigeria's health sector. The head of occupational health for the NLC, Maureen Ekwazi, who made the call at a workshop uh, to commemorate the 2020 World Patients Day in Abuja, says there is a need for the federal government to increase health allocations if it is ready and really ready to commit uh, to improving the overall health performance in the country. Ikwaz's call follows the announcement by the Global Fund to donate $890 million to the Nigerian government to strengthen the nation's health sector. The amount is due to be disbursed and implemented from 2021 to 2023. She, however, added that the safety of health workers must be prioritized to guarantee the safety of patients who access various health facilities in the country. Nigeria has been given $890 million by global funds, but that will be from 2021 to 2023. And that money will be signed if we put all our documents in order because we're working on it now. We're doing what we call grant making. So my message to the Nigerian government is that a lot of money comes into this country on her sector. First of all, in 2001, there was an Abuja declaration that says, and our president then was the head of the head of states in Africa, I think so. They promised 15% budget for health in their different countries. And that declaration took place in Abuja. As I'm talking to you, the last budget of health was not up to 4%. What we're doing today is to see how we can ensure, putting, adding our voice to how we can ensure people who go to hospitals to, to receive care have no reason for their cases to be compounded. There have been several reports of people going to hospital to receive care. At the end of the day, they either get maimed, they have what you call secondary infection, some get their cases case complicated, some even die along the line. We have realized, I mean, through WHO, that for us to achieve patient safety, we must first look at the safety of the healthcare worker. If the healthcare worker is not safe, if the, if the work, healthcare workplace is not safe, there is no way we can have patient safety. So we're first looking at the system as a whole, looking at workers that work in the system. How can we create safety net for them?